This is the video on how to get your data out of SurveyMonkey. So say you've done a survey in SurveyMonkey. So this is a sociology and anthropology alumni survey. You're going to go over to Analyze Results. So what you can do to analyze results is um, you can look at kind of how people answer the question, but you can also, if you look over here, you can download responses. So under download responses, you really need to tell SPSS how you want it to be downloaded. You don't want a summary report, right? That just spits out some um, easy to use pie charts and graphs and stuff for you of each individual question. You want a data set that has all the responses that are collected. It's going to make a little spreadsheet for you. Yeah. You want um, condensed and you want the numerical value. So what SurveyMonkey will do is it will take however you answered questions, it'll make the first option for the answer one, the second two, and so on. So I'm just going to select those and I'm going to request a download. Right? And it might take a little while, there's usually a queue, it has to be sort of processed. Um, once it has been processed, we can click the download button and what will open is this file, right? So it'll have it in CSV, and I think it'll have it in Excel. Um, I would probably use it in Excel. So you just sort of poke around and figure out which one those are, right? And so um, this has all of your data. It has things like the respondent's IP address, the time that it took it. What you want to do is you want to go through and kind of clean this variable, this data set up to put it into SPSS. If you don't remember, that first row should just be one word, a one word name for the variable, right? So it's gonna go into that very first column in the variable view in SPSS. The second one should not have any words. You're gonna to have to delete that one. You can go through and delete variables that are not of interest to you, right? And this is a good place to recode things. There's a lot of Texas here, right? So I can go through and make a new variable I can insert one here and go through and make a new variable that's about the state and go through and kind of code everything that is Texas as a one. Um, or I can do, even do find and replace um, to fix that. Okay, so I want to go through and kind of clean this up and get it ready to go into SPSS.